Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a shop my stash video. So we are going to go through my makeup collection. You are going to see me pick out the products that I used on my face today. Some of them are old favorites. Some of them are newer products to me that I want to try a little bit more. Yeah, I think everything in this video I've tried at least once before. So you will get to hear my thoughts on some of them. I am super excited, so let's get into it. We are gonna start out by picking base products. So um, I want to give Tatcha a break. We're gonna try the Hard Candy Smoothing Primer Balm. I really need to finish this up. Actually, you know what? I wanna use the Haley's Beauty Blurring Primer instead today. So we're gonna use that. I need to use up this Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get out this Essence Fresh and Fit Away Primer because I haven't used that in a bit. I really want to use the Wet n Wild Foundation again, but it's super hot today, so I think I'm going to go with the Haley's Beauty BB Drops. And then for concealer, I have... Let's go with ColourPop. We're gonna go with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. For powders, I'm going to actually grab the Bare Skin Perfecting Veil from Bare Minerals. I'm gonna use that to set my under eyes. And then let's use this Physician's Formula powder if I need to set the rest of my face. I haven't used that in a while. Bronzer, let's go ahead and use this. Actually, I want to use my Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer today. Oh no, wait, you know what? I'm going to use this as well, the Kosas Blush and Highlighter. I'm going to use the Brow Pomade today, I think, instead of ah a pencil or a gel. We'll use that. I don't think I want to use the highlighter in this. I might like try it a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's going to be the kind of highlighter I want. So we will also pull out, oh, for a glazed donut. I'm going to go ahead and grab out some eyeliner. I'm just going to use both of the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof eyeliners. All right, what do we want to do for eyeshadow today? I'm not really sure what I'm feeling. So these are my drugstore palettes. I haven't used this Elf J. Kissa to the rescue palette, but just a couple times, so that might be fun to use. Then I've also got this new, new to me, Tardis Pro Remix palette that I haven't tried much of. I haven't tried it at all, actually. I don't know. What do I want to use? We're going to use the Elf to the Rescue palette. That looks good. For lips, I want to see like the direction that I take my eye look in before I pick a lip. So we'll do that towards the end. Alright, so let's start with brows. This is the Milani Stay Put Brow Color. I have the shade Taupe. I haven't used a brow pomade in a while. I've mostly been sticking to my pencil and gel. I don't like this brush. It's very, very scratchy. So I'm going to get out one of my little elf lash and brow wands brush those brows up i feel like this brow pomade looks really really crazy until you blend it out and then it ends up looking pretty decent. I just had like the weirdest feeling of deja vu. And I don't know why. Deja vu is so weird to me. Like I don't even understand. Like what causes it? Why do you just randomly feel like you've been in this exact situation before? It's very odd to me. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of my Flower Beauty concealer. And just kind of clean up my brows a bit because they are extreme. I desperately need to uh, wax them or something. I don't like plucking my eyebrows. It is uh, the worst. So usually I just take a little eyebrow razor and shave them like where I feel like I need to clean them up a bit. But lately 
I just feel like they're very, very bushy and out of control. We are going to prime our eyelids with this Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have the anti-aging version. I don't know if the regular version is better than this. I've heard like great things about the primer potion. And you know, maybe eventually I'll try the regular one. I'm just not a fan of the anti-aging one. I feel like my eyeshadow creases more when I use the anti-aging one and I don't like that. Even if I set it, I still get creases and I feel like my eyeshadow just doesn't last as well. I'm going to take my um, Makeup Geek single. This is so pale. And I'm just going to set my uh, primer, eyeshadow primer that we just put down. I feel like I get the best staying power with this eyeshadow primer if I set it. And with the paint pot, I don't feel like I have to set it. All right, so this is the Elf J. Kissa to the Rescue palette. It came with a cute little sticker set. I think you can still get this on Ulta's website. I don't think it's sold out yet. I think it is sold out on Elf's website, but it's still available on Ulta's. If you have been watching me for a little bit, you know I love the Volume 1 little palette. This is just Elf J. Kissa. That's the inside. I don't have anything else like these, and I really, really love that. I love that it magnetizes that too. It's so cute. It's perfect for traveling. You know, this is like my perfect inner corner highlight. I might actually keep it out and use it today. We'll see. I just love this whole palette. I don't know what I want to do today. I'm kind of feeling like blues and purples. So I'm taking my fluffy brush. This is just one that I have from Alamar Cosmetics and I'm going to dip into, let's start with cannoli. I don't like this fluffy brush as much for like packing on my shadow. So we're going to switch to a different one. Um, they did like this launch was in collaboration with Angel City Pits, which is based out of Los Angeles. So she named all of the shades in here after dogs. Very, very cute. Um, Zuma and Suki are her dogs. So these two shades here. Look at that. I appreciate it when a blue is not patchy. I'm gonna see with Thatcher if like a Thatcher and a tank. I really am interested in if those two get patchy because they are deeper shades. <clears throat> but like if you can make a blue shade and it is pigmented and it is not patchy, I'm here for it. Also, this um these red shades. This whole palette is vegan and cruelty free and it's really, really hard to make reds and purples vegan and cruelty free and have them be good because most of the people who make those shades use carmine. You have to use carmine to make those colors, which is crust, crushed up beetles, which some people, you know, grosses them out. And then if you have a red dye, like the um, Morphe James Charles palette is, has dyes in it for their pigments, those are not a safe because they are not federally approved in America to put on your eyes. I mean, technically you can use them on your eyes, but the FDA says you shouldn't because they could stain your eyes and some people could be allergic to the dyes. So I'm just kind of building those two up. I used um, Sadie and cannoli. I think I threw the box away and I don't have the package anymore, but these are eye safe. They are not pigments. They are eyeshadows. And this is what they look like. And I'm here for it. We're going to take Pretty Girl. And I'm going to put that in the outer third. My eye is starting to water, so we might have a little bit of an issue here. Uh, 
Um, I'm just kind of building up Pretty Girl in the outer corner. It looks a little messy. Bear with me. We're gonna we're gonna pause there for with that for a second. Take a little bit more of cannoli and build that up. I'm gonna take Reagan, which is this green shimmery shade, and I'm gonna put that on my lid. All of my flat brushes are gone. There is one. Got it. This is where we're at with this. I really love how all those colors like blended into each other and didn't turn muddy. I'm just kind of brightening up Reagan a bit. I could probably actually wet it. Normally I would use MAC Fix Plus for this, but I don't have any Fix Plus right now, so we're using Catrice Dewy Glow. And I'm just patting that on. All right, so we're gonna take a pause there with the eye look. I'm gonna prime my face. I picked up out the Haley's Beauty Refine Prime Foundation Primer. I believe this is their blurring primer. I've only used it a couple of times. I really like the packaging though. It's really sleek and cute and you just squeeze this and it comes out. So I'm just going to put that around my pores and a little bit on my forehead. It feels very much like a blurring poor filling primer, you know, really silky smooth. All right, and then I'm gonna take my Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer and rub that into the perimeter of my face. All right, I don't wanna over blend because I don't wanna lose any of that glow. So we're gonna start off with concealer. I've got my Pretty Fresh ColourPop. I always say this day wrong. It's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I have the shade. Fair 10N, a little bit lighter than I normally go for in my concealers, but that's fine. You know, it works. I think if I was to run out of this and order another one, I would definitely go a couple of, like the next shade up in the neutral range instead of using this one. It's way more light than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna blend that out with my sponge. Also gonna take just a tiny little bit more and use a brush and clean up that outer corner. Just taking this little flat concealer brush and I'm gonna blend that out a little bit more. This is the Haley's Beauty Reinvent BB Drops, a tinted marula face oil. I have the shade Fair Cool. I'm just gonna put some a few drops on the back of my hand. Typically I use this with a brush and then like smooth it out with my sponge. So we're gonna do that today. Not a ton of coverage, as you can see. It is very, very glowy. It's got marula oil in it, so. Um, I covered up my redness. But you can still, it still like looks like skin, just super glowy. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. We're gonna take my sponge and just smooth everything over. Before I set my under eyes or anything, since I am using some cream products, I'm just gonna take my Physician's Formula bronzer stick. I like to warm it up on the back of my hand and then draw this one straight on my face. I take this Eco Tools blending and bronzing brush. And then if I need a little bit more, I just pick up what's on the back of my hand and stipple that in. Then I'm gonna take this Kosas, what is this even called? Uh, Color and Light Duo, it's in the shade Velvet Melon. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. stippling brush. We're gonna try this. 
I just put it right into the compact. It looks really nice, kind of peachy. Might be to like too peachy for this look, so we might have to put another, like more cool tone blush over top of it. I definitely need to set this concealer though. That looks nice. I definitely think it is too peachy for this look. And then I'm taking that highlighter that's also in this and just putting it on the high point. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to put like a more cool toned blush and a cool toned highlighter over top of this. This concealer is starting to decrease really bad. So I'm just going to take my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil and set my under eyes with this. I think it's supposed to be like a finishing powder, but I do like to use it to set my under eyes and right around my nose. And I'm going to take, this is from Shop Miss A, it's their little microfiber sponge. And I'm just going to use that to press out any creases that I might have gotten. I'm going to put on my Ofra Glaze Donut Highlighter. No, actually I lied. I lied. I'm going to set the rest of my face really quick using this physician's formula what is this called this is the airbrushing pressed powder in the shade translucent and I'm just gonna kind of set my face here I don't typically use powder especially like right in the middle but I feel like during the summer if I use it on the perimeter of my face and a little bit around like my pore area just a tiny little bit it helps the makeup last longer and it looks pretty good so we're gonna do that and then I'm now I'm gonna take glazed donut and just put it over where I put that Kosas highlighter because I want it to be a little bit less peachy and warm and a little bit more Cool tone since we've got this like super cool tone eye look going on. I'm gonna take this L'Oreal H Perfect Radiant Satin Blush in Rosewood to kind of try to cool it down a little bit more. There we go. That's better. We're gonna use the Morphe Continuous Mist. I think I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of the Catrice Prime and Fine. Uh, Dewy Glow Fixing Spray just down the middle. Since we um, did powder, I don't want to lose all of that glow from the BB drops. I'm just going to take my Went Wild Breaker Proof Pencil Liner and I'm going to grab my Sephora Puff and just kind of gently I can't talk while I do this, but I'm just going like, to gently line my lash line for a little bit more definition. The puff is disgusting because my daughter got into it a while ago, but um, it just helps not mess up the base that we've already put down. And I stab myself in the eyebrow. And then I'm also gonna put a little bit of this in my waterline. When I do my eyeliner like this, it's really hard for me to go all the way in. So usually I just go about halfway. See? All right, on my little smudgy brush, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Thatcher, which is this deep blue. And we're just gonna put it right on the outer portion of my lower lash line. Kind of meshing it together with what we did on the lid. I'm just stamping it right where I want it to get that pigment really in there. Holy cow, that was a lot. It's really hard to get a deep blue that stays blue. All right, so I'm taking a pencil brush and this is the Morphe M431 and I'm smudging it, smoking it out a little bit. I'm gonna take Pretty Girl, which is the deep purple shade and just kind of Deepen that up a little bit more because I want a bit more of a smoky look. And then to kind of tie in the green on the lid, I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take P, 
uh, tank. Which is like forest hunter green. Ooh, that was a lot. And I'm just going to lightly... Yeah, that was way more than I intended for it to be. But I'm going to blend that just like in the middle portion. And then I'm going to take Peaky, which is the lighter green, probably on that smudgy brush again. That pencil brush was way too much. And I'm going to stamp that there. Okay, yeah, I like that. And we're going to blend that in to tank. All right, because I messed up and I got a little bit too much uh, green, it's not exactly even, I'm gonna take my powder, my um, Bare Minerals powder, and I'm just gonna take a little flat brush. This is the one that I used to prime my eyelids. And I'm just gonna kinda clean that up blending that powder into it. I am going to take just a tiny little bit of Regan, which is the shimmery green shade, on my um, Luxie Mini Round Brush, and I'm just gonna stamp that right on the innermost inner corner. Can you see that? Let me turn my head the other way. just to kind of blend it in from the lid to the bottom lash line. And then, the fun part, and then I'm gonna take 23 from the original Elf J Kissa palette, which is this highlighter shade right here, and we are going to right there, brighten it up a little bit, and then bring it up. Heck yeah. I'm gonna take just like, um, I got this in back, I think in Ipsy actually a long time ago. It's just like a little, like a more tapered fluffy brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit more of 23 and highlight the brow bone. Just slightly. Make sure everything is seamless. I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara um, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. I just used the L'Oreal Lush Paradise Mascara. Uh, it's growing on me. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was too like clumpy and like thick, but for some reason, the more I'm using it and the longer it's opened, the more I love it. I think that's the one. This is NYX, not NYX. This is Milani color statement lipstick in the shade Teddy Bear. So I think that's the one we're gonna go with today. I think it looks really good with this. All right guys, so that is all for this video today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video at any point. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time that I upload. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day.